Today we are in my garden design studio and I am propagating some scented geraniums. This is one called a tar of roses. It smells a little bit like a rose, actually pretty good. Roses have all kinds of fragrances, so this smells like a rose somewhere, maybe not the specific rose you have in mind, but is a lovely fragrance. This is the perfect time of the year to do this uh, task. It is the end of summer, and I had a very, very leggy geranium that needed to be cut back. will be clipping right above this point right here. So I'll be cutting right about there. I cut that one on an angle. So this should start growing. I'm going to shorten these a little bit when I put them into the soil, but for right now, I want to keep them moist. So into the water they go. Yesterday, I cut the geranium back to about six inches long, each of the stems, and I sorted them by those that have the leaves and those that don't. Those that don't, I will probably just stick in the soil and see if they uh, sprout roots and leaves. The ones with the leaves on them definitely will get my, the most of my attention. Have any of you grown scented geraniums before? I used to be able to find them all the time and so I never bothered to make my own cuttings early on because they were so prevalent. Then I realized that they were kind of falling out of favor or a little bit harder to find or the growers weren't growing the ones that I wanted and I decided to take matters into my own hands. These are the cuttings with the leaves. What I want to do is shorten these to about three inches long, and I'm going to cut it directly under a leaf joint. I want to leave at least a couple of leaves on the top. We just want enough leafy material to photosynthesize while the plant is developing its roots. And the other thing I will do is on the bottom part where the little joints are, I will rub those a little bit to make sure that there's no leaves coming out from that area. We want roots to come out. Then I'm going to make a hole into the soil. Now I will take the cutting. It's got a few good leaf joints there and I will put it in the soil. Ta-da! Done! I'll finish up and see you when I'm done. All right, you just wanna keep this in an indirect light, a place where they'll get a little bit of light but nothing direct on them. This particular pot could probably handle three cuttings in it. Now, here's the thing. With these scented geraniums, they're called pel pelargoniums, they really don't want a rooting hormone on their stem. Don't, they don't need that. They don't want to be covered with plastic to help them uh, root. Some plants need that, others don't, so this one does not. And it really is easy to, it's great for a beginner. Hey, it's so great for kids. You could try different techniques with different kids. Uh, with di Oh, sure, why not with different kids? <laughs> Some of them have preferences. What I mean to say is that you could try different techniques of propagation and let them see and record the outcomes 
soil versus just putting the stems in water and to see how long that takes, how long the roots take to uh, come out. Bye.